Hey guys, uh, today I thought I might share with you uh, some ink pens that I've made. And these are made 100% on a metal lathe. Uh, they're made out of titanium, um, grade 2 titanium. Uh, I'll step through how I made them, but uh, you know, people are into pen kits and things like that nowadays. But I thought it'd be something neat that if you had a metal lathe and a little time, uh, you could make a similar. And it's a, it's a, it's a push style. You know, it's not a, a, a twist or a cap. Uh, you know, you press the button in, do your writing. There's a little plunger here at the end that lets you uh, retract it. Um, just a little bit how they're made. Um, you know, you start with some half inch uh, titanium dowels. Um, you know, working with titanium, it's hard. Uh, it will gum up, especially when you drill it. So, you know, go slow. It's it's you can use a tap tap and die sit on it too. It's just it's just it gums up and just just take your time and uh, and don't let it overheat. But uh, I used half inch and uh, some quarter inch um, for the uh, I guess you call it the, the plunger on the ink pen. Uh, but let me take one apart and, and, and show you how how it works here. So we'll pick this one. Uh, I just put something under the clip here. Uh, to stop it from uh, scratching the, the metal. Uh, they're about five and one eighths inch long. That's just kind of a, uh, a happy dimension I found that I like. Um, and they, both of these use the Fisher um, Space Pen refill. You can find them at um, pretty much any you know office supply store. Uh, the spring I found I ordered. Uh, and had to cut it to length. Uh, well, let me step you, step you through. So this is just the barrel body. It's you know it was half inch titanium rod. I drilled it down. Uh, this one has a taper. I did about a half inch taper in, instead of the earlier one. I did about a three quarter inch you know longer style taper. This is a little safer because the dimension you got to drill down. You want to accidentally uh, hit where you drilled. It's a little thin right there. Uh, I polished this one and, and filed it a little smoother. This is, I've used this pen for, uh, gosh, probably two years, you know, for work all the time. So uh, it's a pretty robust action. Occasionally you got to clean it, and I'll step through how it all works. But, you know, you got the, the barrel you'll make, the, uh, the return spring, and of course you'll, you'll buy the, uh, the pen refill. So this is where everything really happens. So, um, it, it threads in the barrel, the, the barrel with, the, with these threads right here. And to take it apart, push this part out, this button. There's a little spring hiding in there. Uh, so this part, you know, it's again, it's made from that half inch uh, titanium. And, uh, you know, you, you, you drill this hole. So what happens is this button will catch on the lip on this plunger right here. You can see that better. Uh, so when you, uh, so it sits like this. When you press down, the little spring right here pushes this button out, and it catches, and it keeps your ink pen, you know, uh, you know, out, out, the, out the tip. When you hit the button, it retracts back. So I mean, that's really the principle. You know, it's 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 pretty simple design, uh, but you know, for for an ink pen, you can use a lot. You know, the the twist type or something with a cap, just isn't very. Um, you know, useful especially if you're in a rush um, you know I, I, ha I have dimensions for the whole thing but I don't want to just 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 have people just copy what I did so, but um, uh, I was just gonna just step through how I made it and you could you know make make it your own you know just, just trying to show some of the neat you can do if you have a metal lathe at your house uh, the clip the clip is also titanium I, I ended up buying a, 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 a piece of uh, Again, grade two titanium, and cut it off, and and, and bend it over, right there. Uh, it it'll hold a little spring in it, um, but I, I didn't I didn't anneal it or anything. It it holds enough to keep it in your shirt pocket. Uh, to attach it, I drill. I believe that's a 544 uh, thread hole right there, and then I I, I put a, a 544 threads on a piece of this quarter inch. And threaded it in there, cut it, 
and then rounded it off with a lathe. Sorry, then rounded it off with a lathe. So I, I, I said I, I put this 544, screwed it in, you know, with the clip in place, and then rounded it off to a nice button shape. And I put some red Loctite in there before I did it at all. And then came in uh, with a, I believe that's a 3 16th reamer, and sealed everything up. And, and uh, that little screw is not coming out. So uh, if you ever had to take the clip off or repair the clip, it would be tedious. You'd have to take a hacksaw or put a blade right there. You know, put a, sorry, put a, put a notch right there. You could probably back it out. Um, the little button's just quarter inch. Uh, you know, with a hole with a hole clean through the middle, and, and like I said, the, this little itty bitty spring pushes it out, and uh, this part rides in it. So when you press down, oh, oh, I have to, to pick that up. But um, so yeah, I mean, it's just, just it's a fairly simple design, and I, I hope I hope I'm explaining it good. So I guess some more things. Uh, this right here's got a quarter inch hole. Again, you you would want to you would want to make it you know to fit the specific pin refill you want. If you don't like the Fisher, sorry the Fisher uh, space pin refill, you know just just use what you want to. Uh, but it's a fairly fairly simple design, and I'll step you through the reassembly. So this little spring fits. Down in that hole, right there, and this button I marked which one, which way is top, so it sits right there. Press that down. You put your plunger. You know your plunger with a little. You now, if you look at the niche, you can see how it catches. You know, fit that in there. All right. We'll check it. Make sure it locks. All right. And we'll put our, uh, our uh, spring on. So you can see there's a little cup right here in this part that the, that the refill uh, fits right in. And I leave that cup, uh, I normally will use that uh, to set the exact height. You know, you, you want it to stick a certain amount out the tip and uh, retract a certain amount. So I, I usually kind of use that. It's the last part. I finished that depth of that of that little hole right there uh, to kind of complete to get, to get the depth I wanted. So put the barrel barrel back on. We'll put our piece of paper to stop from scratching it up. Screw that on, and it should right. Um, so there you go. And uh, to retract, just hit the little button, and it clips on the shirt nicely. Um, the other one, I have one very similar, uh, but it has, uh, you know, so it has two buttons here, or two, two screws. Uh, this, this has the added benefit of it allows you to drill completely through the body, and you can put a, it's just a flatter surface to put that screw, I'm sorry, to put that spring that pushes this little button. Um, so you end up with a slightly better action, I think, uh, but when you clip it on your shirt, it can only go so deep. So it only goes to about right here. I put a high polish on that one. So uh, uh, I did. I did make little little fixtures. Here's a little jig. Uh, I ended up making to drill um, you know, th this hole right here in the pin body. Uh, you'd, you'd, you'd take your after you had it when you were ready to drill that. You'd stick it when it's still a half inch diameter, and that would drill the depth. Um, you flip it over, and that's the holes for you need to keep it in that position. But that's the hole for your, uh, you know, for the for the uh, little little screws to uh, attach the clip. So, like I said, if you if you wanted to do two, there's a hole. If you want to do it all the way through, you know, like this two button one has that um, for uh, for the spring. And I made a little jig. I don't have a piece. Titanium that's a quarter inch wide, it fit a little cut, but it would drill. Uh, you put that in there, and that's to help center up uh, the hole for the clip. So it's just a clip before you assemble it. So you can make little fixtures like this, uh, especially if you're, you're going to make more than one. 
and uh, you know things like you know drilling in the top of, of a round part it's tough to get it centered up so little fixtures like that can can really help um, but I don't know what else uh, you know I went with a 3 8 inch um, a diameter on the pin um, how far around I, I think that feels right in the hand I, I you know I'd, I'd go around the office and try out different pins to, to get the length um, again the taper I wanted the diameter the base the uh, the base diameter um, so I don't know it's kind of it's kind of fun thing to do again if, if you got a metal lathe line around uh, you know that'll, that'll cut threads you, you don't have to have a thread cutter but it, it makes uh, makes things a little simpler especially putting the threads on the uh, the back body but uh, I'll take it apart one more time, hopefully, again to show you how I made it. Um, I do like this one better the, with, the, with, the, with the one screw or the one uh, instead, of, instead of the two. Again, it just fits better in your shirt. Uh, but it is, it is a little more tedious to get to action because that, that, there's just less room for that little spring in there. And, uh, but I'll take it apart one more time, hopefully. My, uh, my camera skills. Um, better. So there's the there's the barrel body. Um, it's four and a quarter inches long. Again, three eighths around. Uh, the the taper is half inch from here here to the tip is a half inch. Um, but no, I mean the, one of the hardest things is get is drilling drilling that body that, you know down to about right here. Um, a quarter inch. You know the the drill bits will gum up so and, and the the threads in there are five sixteenths eighteenth you know they, they, made, they made up with the threads on this one so uh, and again to this part just press the button in push this all the way through you know really that's that's the tougher part to make you know to get to get right um, so you know but but again that, that it it catches on this little piece right here, this little little button. There's a spring behind it, and when you, uh, you know, it's it's just like this. When you press it down, it, this part goes forward and catches, and the ink pen stays until you press the button from the outside, and it can you know, the, the spring on the bottom of the uh, pen refill will push it back up into out the action body, and there's that little spring right there. Not a lot to it. Um, one weakness of the design is it dirt and sand. You know, I, I've done some work in, uh, uh, in in the desert, and if sand and stuff gets in there, you, you, you have to take it apart and clean it ah, once every six months, just with a Q-tip. Uh, but everything's great to titanium. I didn't coat anything because you know titanium is very friendly. I made them out of aluminum, um, you know, raw aluminum. You know, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll. we'll Will not hold up well to human contact, so you'd probably want to powder coat it. Um, you could use steel. I made one out of copper, but the, the weight becomes an issue. That's why titanium is a good choice. Uh, all in all, there's probably twenty-five dollars worth of titanium in this pen, uh, but it, you know it, it's it's practically indestructible, and uh, even if you get nicks in it, you can normally buff it back out if you needed to. And I try to put a satin polish on mostly everything here on this one. Like I said, I did a little more of a mirror you know, polish, so I, it's, it's whatever your preference. Um, I'll put it back together. Take that little, little, little tiny spring, put it down in that hole. We take this, and I did mark top, the top, because you will find it works better one way or the other. And to drill that hole, I built this part first. Put this in here, you know, taped it and then drilled it with the lathe of the whole part. That way everything was centered up real nice. Um, so, you know, I had the, had the body and the whole thing ready. No clip, obviously. And I, I, I had already drilled the hole through this the body and then had the button in there, you know, pressed in and was able to drill. That's how I drilled that hole uh, for the little button. It's, you know, it's, it's a little fragile part. A fun little project, um, you know, if you got a metal lathe lying around or in your garage or you inherited one 
and you don't know what to do with it. You know, it's uh, it's fun. A lot of people make you know um, pin kits. You know, these wooden wooden pin kits are real popular. Uh, but you know, you, you, all you did is make you know polish the wood. So this is something neat. If someone's really into ink pens, you know, you could make a pretty fancy one. And there's about $25 worth of material in here. So uh, you wouldn't want to just hand them out. And, you know, it, it takes a decent amount of time to make them. And like I said, that titanium, you got to take small cuts and it gums up. So, um, but, let's see, it should work. Press the button. Oh, it's nice. Hit the clip, put it back in the shirt pocket, it's done. So, there's the other one. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, again, just something you can do um, at home with your lathe. Make you, make you a good ink pen the last years. Alright, appreciate it. Thanks.